Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Today guys, I got an exciting new series where basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to interview normal, normal people. These are non-watch collectors and ask them what do they think a selection of watches are worth? <laughs> so this is a, a great it's a great thing to look at because we as collectors, we get so caught up. Oh, he's got a Hulk. Oh, he's got a Kermit. Oh, he's got a, uh, a Pepsi. He's got a Coke. He's got a Paddock. He's got a Brega. He's got an Amiga Speedy. You know, we get so caught up in our own world. We don't realize that mere mortals, non-collectors, non-wiss, what do they think of the watches we wear? How much do they think they're really worth? So I thought the best way I could start this new series is I'd interview a uh, 20 year old, this is a 20 year old woman, and ask her what did she think uh, some of my watches are worth. So uh, this is sort of an, a social experiment. And what I've done is <coughs> I've presented the tray of watches in a, a six watch box. Um, so just to take away from the packaging how that could, could sort of influence somebody's opinion. And uh, I've also thrown in a stinker. I've thrown in a stinker, a cheap, nasty watch, just to, to see if they, um, if they can see quality or see value or see anything that us Weeses think exists there. I mean, we think this stuff makes us cool. We think it makes us cool and trendy and sophisticated and classy. But I don't think the public actually thinks that. So... This is a great new series. Now, guys, all the prices that I mentioned in this video here are in Aussie dollars. All the prices in this video are Australian dollars. Um, so roughly one Aussie, uh, one US dollar is 75, 76 Aussie. Sorry, one Aussie dollar is 75, 76 US cents. So uh, we're about 25% cheaper than you guys. So this price is here. Just understand, this is all in Aussie dollars. When I talk about what are these price, what are these watches, I'm talking retail replacement price. Retail replacement price. <laughs> so this is if you went into a shop and wanted to buy a watch similar to, to the watches that I've displayed, how much would you pay? So enjoy this video. It's a couple, couple parts. It's just the suspense build up. This is a pilot series, so if you guys like it, I will make more, I will make more for the channel. So let me know how this goes. Is it a pop or does it flop? Is it a stinker? You tell me what you guys think of that. Okay, we're just doing an interview. So that's recording now. <clears throat> it's a secret. This is an interview. So what I'm trying to do is, I just want to get a normal person off the street normal person off the street and ask them what well, how much do they think these particular watches are each right, so this is so there is no right or wrong answer it's just purely well there is a right answer but <clears throat> if the aim of this is not to I don't want you to tell me what you think the answer is I want you to think what you think the the answer is okay because it's okay the whole point of this is just to see whether you can tell can tell what what you think they're worth so there is no there is nothing we're just trying to work out what your perception of them is so what I've done here to make this more interesting instead of them having a lot of packaging and you could be fooled by that these are in one box so they all look they're all presented the same okay yeah. they're presented the same <clears throat> and uh, what we're trying to do is we're going to write down on a little piece of paper. We're going to write down what you think the price of these to buy these. These are all relatively new. Are so, new models or new? Uh, well, they're, they're fairly new. Like you new. could buy these in the shop. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, okay. so it's not like they're vintagey. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like an antique. These are current sort of things available. Right, you probably never heard of some of them, or you know anything. Yeah. So that's that's part of the fun to this game here. Yes. It's not a game. This is our 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 video. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to see if you can. We're just trying to see what the perception is of a normal person. So so that's so let's open this box up. 
and we'll have a sticky beak here okay so we've got six six watches in this box here six six time pieces <clears throat> so just quickly what I can tell you is there's a range of prices there these are there is no gold these are all steel so stainless stainless steel, steel. Okay. like like okay. a so like steel. a knife like a knife you know like yeah, a kitchen yeah, knife yeah, they're yeah. made of stainless steel or a sink okay. they're all made of steel okay there's not like one's gold but you didn't realize it was gold so these are all stainless steel okay, okay. so um, this is what they are they're stainless steel um, <clears throat> so they, these here these are these are sort of currentish sort of model some of them okay well so that's it that's it that's it they're all in reasonably similar condition so uh, if you've got any have you got any questions you want to ask me before you tell me what you think these when, I, when I'm asking the price, what would they sell for new? What do you think they would? So we're just trying to get your perception of what they are as a thing. Okay. Okay? Okay, yeah. So did you have any questions? Do you want to? You can ask me three questions to try and help you get the right yeah. price. Okay. So, so um, three are questions. Are any of them brand names? Like... Well... They're all brand names as such. Like everything okay. has a brand name. Like like yeah, like yeah, a yeah, Kia yeah. has a brand name. Yeah, yeah. A Rolls Royce has a brand name. They're all brand name. They all have a brand and a name to it. Okay. Uh, they're none of them are sort of. Uh, when you say brand name. They they do have brand. They 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 are all sort of. Uh, they they all have a brand. Thing they are okay. a, they are, but. Okay, that's question one. So question two, you get to ask a second question. Um, so they can be bought in store. Correct? You can buy them yeah. in the store now. We could buy them in a shop. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, So your second, sorry, that was your second question. They can yeah. be bought in a shop. Yes. yes, you could buy them. We could go into the city and we could buy these things. For okay. example, we could go there. Yes, um, yes, you could certainly do that. You could buy that. You could go to. We could go, go to the city and you could buy them. Your third question is. You can ask anything. They got extra buttons, or if you want to ask something like that, or if you want to ask the color or some anything you want to ask, you can throw it out there, and I'll answer it. It's all circular face as well, so there's nothing. No questions there. Um, well, yeah, more but like more of these would need more value already. I already know that, so. Uh, not necessarily. Really? Not necessarily. The the buttons. Okay. So 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 what the buttons do there? So this one's got three buttons. This one's got three okay. buttons. Yeah. All the other ones just have one. Yeah. They've just got a function, an extra function. Those two there can work as a stopwatch. Okay. So as well as okay. being telling you the time. It doesn't tell you dates or anything like that. It's it, more actually, worse. the interesting thing is here, both of those, they don't actually tell you what day of the month it is. Wow. That one tells you the day of the month. That one does. Yeah. And that one does. But it, it's actually a timer. It's like a stopwatch. Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah. they call a chronograph. Because as well as telling the time, you can time things. You could time things like if you parked your car, you could time how long you were in a parking spot. For a or something, something like, like that. that. It, okay. it, it's it's yeah. a timing mechanism. That's okay. that's what it is. Right. So okay, so there's there's six in this box here. So we can start. Um, you you can tell me how much you. Well, I suppose the question is how much would these retail for? And I'm just going to stop this video. We're going to. This is.
okay? Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pruder channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below, and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.